Hey YouTube, it's Chuck. This is gonna be a short video. It's the end of the weekend and I'm getting ready to head to New York tomorrow, but I really wanted to just update everybody on the observation hive. So as you can see in this hive, the bees are gone. Um, they swarmed. And I don't know where they went. Um, I had that first swarm I documented. They went in the tree, they came back into the hive, but the next day they were gone and they weren't in any tree that I could see anywhere near me. So I am going to speculate that this hive had one of the queen cells here hatch out and they re-swarmed with a virgin. Now, I've erased the dates that I thought these were capped and I've got a, a cell open here, a cell open here, and a cell open here. So I've already got three known hatched queen cells and none of them were eaten in from the sides, which means they hatched. Okay, so I think three queens hatched. Now, sometimes when that happens, they kind of go to the death and then you have to see who is left. I'm guessing one of those virgins took all the bees that are now missing from this hive uh, into a tree and then hopefully into some new uh, happy home. I don't know where that will be. Maybe it'll be one of my swarm traps, but to this point it is not. Now, I did mark over here on the right the new calendar based on these hatch dates. I marked the hatch date as yesterday, the 25th, which means the virgin that is in here now will be mating on or about the 30th and should be laying on or about April 3rd. Now, while I'm shooting this video to you now, I'm not seeing the virgin, but I can tell you about an hour ago, I was in here and there was a virgin crawling all over this glass. Uh, she has a very extended abdomen, but is not quite a, a mated queen yet. I just don't see her at the moment. But I think the important thing to note here is that swarming is a natural process that has many ways it can be done. So if this is happening inside of your hives that are wooden and you can't see inside, there's so many different things that could be going on. Uh, in this one where we got to see through the glass, the clipped queen disappeared. I think probably she swarmed and probably got eaten uh, on the ground while I was out of town. And then they swarmed again. And then they swarmed again. And I think that is part of nature creating multiple queen cells like they did here. So they have multiple options. And this hive, I am going to think, is going to end up being a very nice, healthy hive if that uh, queen successfully mates and continues to lay up this brood. But if you notice, she's still got capped brood ready to hatch. But all this open laying room, once she gets mated, that she is just going to be able to lay away and get this hive booming. So that is the update for, you know, the 26th of March. The observation hive swarmed. There is a virgin in here. I wish I could show her to you guys at the moment and circle her, but she's in here. I saw her uh, just a, uh, about an hour ago. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this type of content. If you do, leave me a comment below. Uh, I feed off your content and I really love the conversation. Have a great day.